Oh, hello. Welcome to Talk Floral. What can I do for you today? We, uh, we have some fresh roses in case you need a quick bouquet. It's our most popular item, sadly. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. So, you want to order an arrangement for a friend who just had a baby? Oh, well, that, that's great. That's really sweet. Uh, <laughs> for them, I mean. Congratulations to them. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's your budget? Oh, okay. We can make something beautiful with that. It, if you don't have any plans, I can work on your order right now. The shop's not really busy, so it shouldn't take me that long. Great. Okay. Yeah, we'll get started. I think this, this, milk bottle, it, well, it's not an actual milk bottle, it's just a vase shaped like one, <laughs> I mean, point being, I haven't met a baby that doesn't like milk, and uh, for the focal flowers, I'm thinking we'll use these, yellow daffodils, I just need to trim them to fit. It won't take long. Uh, <clears throat> did you know yellow daffodils represent positivity and new beginnings? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How can you look at these bright beauties and not smile? It's why they're used in a lot of arrangements for new businesses and weddings and housewarmings and... Uh, well, of course, <laughs> babies. It's the perfect flower to wish happiness to a little bundle of joy. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Now, let's throw in some... pink carnations. And these symbolize mother-like love and are pretty popular around Mother's Day. Uh, let's get these lovelies ready to go. Was I busy on Mother's Day? Uh, sadly, no. I'm still pretty new in town, and still working on the store's website. It, it's, uh, been pretty quiet, actually. Um, as a matter of fact, how did you find this place? You were just walking by? Well, that sounds about right. I've only had a few customers that pop in to grab a quick bouquet of roses. Always red, always a dozen, and then they're out the door. Not to sound ungrateful or anything. I mean, any business is good business, but... Actually, uh, he, yours is the first arrangement for the shop. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I promise I know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, crap. I didn't mean to, uh, just ignore that. That's fine. That's, that's a good stopping point for the carnations anyway. So let's add some height and color with some lavender. That's right. French lavender, to be accurate. I think these will go well with the yellow daffodils and add a nice pop of color. They represent purity, like a newborn baby. They also represent calmness, something the uh, new parents will definitely need uh, all they can get because of the newborn baby. Hopefully the soothing scent from these gems will give them just a moment of relaxation. I hope. Ah, uh, sorry, I, uh... 
I can get a little bit carried away when I'm working. My friends and even a few customers have told me to cut back on my flower facts. I should listen to them. Yeah. I mean, the shop is called Talk Floral. The flowers should probably do the talking. Not me. I'm sorry if I was being annoying. Oh, you want to... <laughs> You want to know some facts about this flower? You don't mind me nerding out over them? Really? All right, okay. Well, these here are white baby's breath. And they stand for innocence. They also stand for newborns, so it only makes sense that I include it in the arrangement. And it also represents everlasting and undying love including family, platonic, and even romantic bonds. They're commonly used as a filler flower, but it's become popular to use just baby's breath as bouquets at weddings, even. There. I think I'll add just some leather leaf ferns to add a bit more green, and, and then we'll be ready to assemble. Would you like me to add a bow around the vase? Vase? V v vase? Vase? <clears throat> you can't please everybody. <laughs> it just uh, comes out both ways. <laughs> <clears throat> the bow, right. It could really tie this arrangement together. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help myself. Here. Here. That looks about right. Just need to move this one over here. Perfect. Now for the finishing touch. I think this pale yellow will do. Yeah. And... There we go. It's done. What do you think? Oh, well... <laughs> you're... You're very welcome. Uh, and here, uh, this is a packet of plant food for the flowers. All they need to do is just add it to the water and it'll help the arrangement last longer. Other than that, you're all set. I'll just, uh, I'll ring you up. And, yeah, that. There you go. No, th this is too much. I couldn't. I. As thanks for the lesson. What lesson? Oh, on the language of flowers. You, you really had fun. Oh, well, really, you don't have to. Uh, well, if you insist. Thank you. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, wait just a minute. Uh, where did I put those little... Uh, yeah, here. There you go. Um, I got these little bears uh, to go with specialty orders. But so far, they've just been taking up space. I'm sure this little one would love to have a home with a new baby and to play with them. No, please. I insist. You're very welcome. My card? Uh, oh, you want my card? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, um, here. Here you go. Please, come back anytime you're in need of some flowers, or if you just want to learn some more floral facts. Have a nice day. I hope you come back. <sighs> Hello, welcome to... Oh, hey. 
I'm surprised to see my shop's first arrangement back so soon. N not that I was keeping track or anything like that. Uh, by the way, did, did they like the flowers? Oh, they loved them. Oh, that's a relief. The baby liked the teddy bear? Oh. Well, I'm glad the baby was happy about the gift. I... I was a little worried. That order being the first official one for the shop, but... Now I can rest easy knowing it was a success. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to chat so much. How can I help you today? Uh-huh. Oh, I see. You have a friend that's not doing too well. M mind if I ask why? Oh, oh, a bad breakup. Oh, no. That's rough. So you want to cheer them up with a flower arrangement? <laughs> that... <laughs> Sorry, that's just very thoughtful of you. They're lucky to have a friend like you. And luckily for your friend, I have the perfect arrangement in mind. I just need to check your budget. Yeah? Oh, oh, that'll be more than enough for what I have planned. Don't worry. Excellent timing, too. I just got some beautiful mums in. Well, wait, I... Uh... I didn't mean to imply that this is a good time for your friend to be feeling down. N not that there's ever a good time for that sort of thing. Uh, sorry. I'll just start on the order. Mums? Well, uh, it's a nickname for chrysanthemums. They've been known to symbolize hope, joy, and cherished friendship. And these lavender mums also say, wish to get well. All the things that your friend needs right now. Plus, these fun blossoms are long-lasting, low-maintenance, and, good news for you, affordable. <clears throat> now, I'm thinking, instead of a vase, we can use this... Mm, here, this... Uh, this white bamboo basket. It's lined in cellophane, so your friend won't have to worry about any leaks. Is this okay? Great. I'll just trim these beauties to fit. Hmm? Oh, yes. These are both mums, just different types. These... Multiple small daisy-like blooms or lavender daisy spray mums. You can tell by the light green yellow centers. While these lavender cushion spray mums are uh, similar to other mums, they have a lighter hue with no contrasting center. All flowers have different types, just um, like animals have different subspecies. All right, that looks good. Now, I'll, uh, add some lavender asters. These represent afterthought, or, um, the wish that things happen differently. Fitting for this arrangement. Fun fact, the name came from the Greek word for star to describe the star-shaped flower head. And this flower has enjoyed a rich history, filled with legends of gods and goddesses. Quite the magical flower, right? I'd say these two types of asters will do. The two different tones of purple will go very nicely with the whole piece. I, uh, I really hope this arrangement brings at least a little joy to your friend during this time. A breakup can be hard enough, but adding drama, ugh, that makes it all the worse. M 
Me? <clears throat> Have I had a... Well, yeah. I've had a bad breakup. Who hasn't? No, no, don't be sorry, really. I... I've come to realize that it wasn't really a healthy relationship to begin with. But thanks to the help of my friends, I'm... I'm much happier now. And, uh, I'm sure once the chaos dies down, your friend will be happier too. Especially with your help. Like, uh, like any good friend would do. <sighs> now, let's move on to a happier topic. Roses. Well, yes, red roses do stand for romantic love, but we will be using these pale pink roses for our needs. The color and even the tone of the color can change the meaning of the rose. For instance, a hot pink rose conveys gratitude, appreciation, and uh, basically it's just a great way to say thank you. While these pale pink roses convey grace, gentleness, joy, and happiness. A perfect message to throw into this arrangement. That's right. Just another lesson in Floriography 101. You know, I'm... I'm not very good with talking. <laughs> at, at least with new people. I think that's why I like the language of flowers. Each one has their own special meaning and can be heard without making a sound. They were able to say things for me when I physically couldn't. Well, that bad breakup I was talking about earlier? My partner at the time didn't really like it when I, uh, when I talked about flowers. Actually, they didn't really like it when I talked about anything. They would just want me to agree with everything they said and be happy about it. And I... I tried. I really did. I was so scared of being alone that I, uh... I forced myself to be what they wanted me to be. And then, finally, my friends took notice when my mock-up arrangements were unconsciously sending out cries for help. And they did. Help me, I mean. They reminded me that I would never be alone. <laughs> they love the floral nerd that I am, so... While it was messy, I don't regret moving on, and... Now I can live a much happier life. Oh, no, no, no. R really, there's nothing to be sorry about. Uh, I shouldn't have brought up such a heavy topic. Especially with a repeat customer. I'm sorry. That's... Uh, uh, that's not very professional of me. Wait. What? What did you say? You... You want to be friends? With me? Really? Well, it's just we, we only met once before and... Are, um, are you sure? Okay. Okay. <laughs> then, <clears throat> as your new friend, I have some advice. When you give this arrangement to your friend, remind them that they're not alone during this time. Tell them that they have people who love and care about their well-being. And even if deep down they know that, it doesn't hurt to remind them every once in a while. Yeah. Now... Let's, uh, finish up this arrangement, shall we? This? This is floral foam. 
I had some soaking earlier just in case I had a more complex arrangement. It, uh, absorbs water, um, for the flowers, and it helps keep them in place, too. Ooh, um, does your friend like tea? They do? Good. Oh, no reason. <laughs> okay, I'm almost finished. Just have to add some greenery for some filler. Hmm. Actually, let me let me just move this one and then just add add some lavender bows. And yes. Yep. Perfect. What do you think? Great. Now, I just need to grab one more thing. Oh, where did I put it? Um, ah, here. This. I, I have this special blend of chamomile tea. Um, but I didn't realize I had two boxes left from my last visit to the tea shop. It's well known as a stress-soothing tea, and I think your friend may need this more than me. <laughs> of course. What are friends for, right? Uh, uh, now I just need to ring you up. No, no. I will accept nothing but the price we agreed on. As a friend, I have to advise you to watch your finances better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What? What? <laughs> if I won't take your money, then take your invitation. Wh what? You... You really want to hang out with me? Really? Um... Uh... Sure. This weekend? I'll, uh... I'll have to check my schedule. Sorry. Uh, what are you doing? What? Oh, don't you already have one of my cards? Uh, oh, you're writing your number down. Right. Um, call you when I'm free to hang out? Uh, okay. Um, I will. And I hope your friend feels better soon. Have a good day. Would you look at that? I made a new friend. <laughs> okay, relax, Finn. You're early, that's all. They'll be here any minute now. Yep, any minute now. Unless they got lost along the way. Maybe my directions weren't clear enough? I should text. N no, no. Do not be clingy. <laughs> They're going to be here. Or they changed their mind about this whole thing. <sighs> no. No negative thoughts. Not today. Still, I wonder where they are. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um. <laughs> How long have you been standing behind me? Oh. Did you. Did you hear anything? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. Please, have a seat. You look good. N not that you don't look good normally. <laughs> You always look good. Really good. I should stop saying good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, how have you been? That's good. Great. Great. So, tea? I hope you don't mind that I chose this tea shop. It's owned by an old family friend. She's practically like a grandmother to me. Plus, the baked goods are some of the best in town, if I do say so myself. But if you wanted to go somewhere else, we... Okay, 
<laughs> okay, if you say so. I went ahead and ordered a cup for myself. I needed it. Hmm? Oh, it was a cherry rose green tea. It uh, It's a special house blend. One of my favorites here, actually. The cherry flavoring and the subtle rose hints give the tea a wildly exotic character. Hattie, the owner, always prepares it perfectly. It can be so easy to botch a brew if you don't know what you're doing. Well... Green tea needs a lower temperature to steep properly, and usually needs three to five minutes before it's ready. If you had a cup of green tea that was just a tad bitter, chances are the water was too hot or it was steeped for too long. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned all I know about teas from this very shop. W would you like to try a cup of this blend? I promise it's a real delicacy. Great! <laughs> I'm sure you'll like it. H hey, Hattie! Oh, wow. Already prepared us some fresh cups. Thank you. Uh, oh, wait, we didn't order any banana bread. Uh, oh, it's on the house? <laughs> Hattie, seriously, you spoil me too much. Uh, uh enjoy... Your date? Uh, wait, uh, Hattie, this isn't, uh, damn. Uh, she's gone. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, at least we have some free sweets, right? How's the tea? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Here, have a slice of this, too. Hattie's banana bread is one of my favorites. She always bakes it fresh. Oh, Hattie? Yeah, I've known her since I was a kid. My grandmother and her were best friends. So whenever I visited, we always ended up here. Hattie taught me about herbs and spices and tea and baking. Oh, yeah, I, I mean... I bake in my spare time. It's pretty fun. I do bake sweets, but my specialty is bread. Actually, I have plans to make some frog bread. Oh, <laughs> I guess you've heard of it. I'm a little late to the game, but the minute I saw that cute fluffy loaf, I knew I had to try it for myself. I'm planning on using a yeast-based bread recipe to make them. It's a pretty simple recipe, the only hard part will be the actual shaping of the frog's body. Still, it shouldn't be too difficult to make. Oh. Um, you want to make them too? With me? Well, uh, sure. I don't see why not. I just have to make sure I have enough ingredients in my kitchen for two batches. Oh, or uh, we could make mini frog bread buns. I even have a tray that looks like a toadstool. It would look so cute with all of them clustered together on it. Uh, the only downside is we uh, would have a lot of free time on our hands between the proving times. It could get boring between breaks. Are you, uh, <laughs> are you okay wasting your time with me? Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you think time with me wouldn't be a waste. I guess while we waited, I could show you my garden. I have some herbs and vegetables and fruits growing right now. However, I am pretty proud of my sunflowers. They're almost 12 feet high right now, and attracting plenty of pollinators to my little patch of heaven. I really enjoyed watching them grow. They follow the sun when they're growing. Just seeing them go back and forth, try to follow the sun, was so... Oh! Oh! Ah! Uh, I'm so sorry! I shouldn't have waved my hands like that. Um, duh, napkins! We need napkins. Are you okay? Well, I know you're not okay. I just spilled tea all over you. But d do you feel a burning sensation anywhere? Uh, oh, God, please tell me I didn't burn you. Uh, what's wrong? Did I really burn you? 
No, no, it's good. Here, uh, I think I got most of the liquid off, but the stain in your... Ah, uh, I am so sorry. I just wanted to help, and I was manhandling your... Uh... Lap. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. You are way too forgiving. Maybe you should go check yourself out in the restroom and just make sure I didn't do any major damage to your being. I'll, I will get the bill while you do that. <laughs> Yes, I I do have to do that. It will make me feel better about this whole mess. <laughs> Just please, uh, uh, thank you. And again, I'm sorry. I'll go pay, and you make sure everything down there is fine. Okay, I will see you in a bit. Oh, <laughs> oh, what a major fail. Oh, a complete and utter failure. Oh, hey. It's uh been a while since I last seen you. Um I'll be right with you. I just got to put some last minute touches on this piece. Yeah. Uh, I know, sorry, I've been hard to reach. Business has surprisingly uh, picked up. I've had a surplus of orders coming in, and I haven't had a whole lot of free time. And, uh, well, after what happened last time we met up, I figured, well, you know. I, I spilt hot tea on your lap. You could have gotten burned. I almost caused you some serious damage, and all because I'm a klutz. And let's not forget how I rushed to your aid. I wasn't even paying attention how close I was getting to, um, your, well, you know, your, your lap, in your lap. I just, it was just so awkward. I, um, I'll admit, I may have been using the business's sudden popularity to avoid you. Don't get me wrong, not because I don't want to hang out with you. I I do, I've just... Uh, I've been too embarrassed to face you again, I think. Um, I, uh... Well, um... I guess I should be glad you still want to hang out with me after all this. I'm, I'm sorry for the whole way I've been handling this thing, situation, non-situation. As soon as I have some free time, I'll, I'll call you to plan something, I promise. But, but no tea this time. I may end up giving you third-degree burns. <laughs> oh, um, did you, did you just come in to talk? Oh. Ah, well, then let me just text my friend to pick up this arrangement, and then we can talk shop. Mm hmm? Oh, no, these aren't his. The sudden burst of orders hasn't given me much time to look for a full-time carrier. My friend Jack offered to help out until I could find a more permanent solution. He's earned the nickname Jack of All Trades with all the odd jobs he's taken in the past. All right. Uh, there. He'll be here later for the pickup. Now, um, what can I do for you? Wow. A 30th anniversary. An, an anniversary for what, exactly? Oh, your, your parents' wedding anniversary? Wow, that's certainly something to celebrate about. Um, hmm, I have to think if I have enough flowers for such an important milestone. Oh, hmm, actually, we're lucky. I should have just what we need to make a memorable arrangement. You're also lucky that over there was my last order for the day. Uh, 
Maybe next time, call me to give a heads up for an order like this, okay? Oh, right, you... <clears throat> you did try to call, didn't you? Um... Sorry. <laughs> well, now I'm all yours. To make your order, I mean, not like... Uh, duh, never mind. Uh, <clears throat> let's get started, shall we? <laughs> to start with, I'm thinking of this golden mercury glass vase. It will give the whole piece another level of class. As for the star attraction, we'll be using these oriental lilies. It would be a crime if we didn't. Symbolizing magnificence. These sweetly fragrant lilies also represent devotion, pride, and beauty. And this star-shaped bloom is literally the poster child for the 30th wedding anniversary. I'll also throw in some clothes lilies in here, too. They'll bloom in time, similar to a healthy and loving relationship. Wow, 30 years. I have to say, I'm a little jealous of them. I mean, not of them, obviously, but of what they have. I know every relationship isn't perfect and has their own flaws. However, if you can find someone who sticks with you through the good, the bad, and, and they still love you, well, that's when you know you have something special. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Your parents are so lucky to have found each other. I guess I'm lucky too, or, or else you wouldn't be... Uh, here. Okay, back to the arrangement. <clears throat> now, um, some white roses. They'll be a great companion for the lilies. Hmm. Now, from our last lesson, you learned that the color of a rose can change its meaning. Any guesses for these beauties? Oh. Okay. Someone's been studying. Yes. Purity is one of the meanings, along with innocence and youthfulness. They can also be associated with eternal loyalty and everlasting love. I'll use a couple of these standard roses, and I'm thinking I'll add these white spray roses, too. Oh, uh, these create a spray of smaller blooms on one stem, hence the name, Spray Rose. They are also called Sweetheart Roses in some shops. Ideal for this arrangement, right? These sweet little flowers hold the same meanings as their larger twins. Yeah, that should do. Hmm, I just feel like this needs more... more. Let's add some white carnations to the mix. These are also known to represent innocence, as well as pure love. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll also throw in these white stock flowers. These tall pretties will give us some height and symbolize the hopefully happy life your parents have shared. Oh, 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 oh. I, I should also add some uh, white alstromerias, too. Yeah, that, that should push this arrangement to the next level. These gorgeous flowers have many meanings, but the one I love most is the eternal connection between two people. And it's not limited to a lover's bond. However, I've always found the meaning a bit romantic, you know? Oh. <clears throat> I guess I am a bit uh, enthusiastic working on this arrangement. I, uh, well, <laughs> I suppose I'm a bit of a romantic at heart. And it makes me so happy to hear when a couple is still together after so much time has passed. It kind of gives me hope that I'll, um, well, duh. <laughs> well, 
Well, anyways, I think these are more than enough for what we need. We just need to throw in some green here to fill in some spots. I was going to use lemon leaves, but now I'm thinking of adding some variegated pitosporum and ming fern to the mix. It'll add some extra texture to the whole piece. You don't mind waiting a few more minutes, do you? Great. I just need to prep these last-minute fillers. Before? Oh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I was just expressing a small hope of mine. Oh, just let me finish and I'll explain without the worry of clipping my finger off. Uh, so, uh, you know my not-so-healthy relationship in the past. Well, I should mention that it was my first serious relationship. Kind of dampened my excitement to try dating again. Still, when I hear stories like your parents' relationship, happy and together for so long, it, it um, well, it almost makes me want to try again the dating thing. Like, maybe I could find someone who doesn't mind my long monologues or all my gushing over plant life and my less-than-graceful nature. Plus, it, it would be nice to be a part of a healthy relationship. I imagine those are, are quite swell. Am I... <laughs> Do I think I'm ready to? Well, maybe. I mean... It's been a long time since they who must not be named. So I think emotionally I'm ready. Mentally, eh, that's another story. It's just, ah, I'm really bad with new people. And let's not forget the hot tea incident. I'd probably scare and or scar any potential candidates. I'll think about it on a later date. Anyways, what do you think? I'm personally pretty proud of this piece. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. Also, as an apology for avoiding you and to celebrate such a joyous occasion, I'm, uh, I'm gonna give you a 30% discount. No, 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 I insist. I've been pretty unfair to you recently, so just please let me correct my mistake by lightening the hit on your wallet, okay? Okay, thanks. All right, you're all set. Huh? Oh. You, uh, you want to book a day for a private flower arrangement? Well, well, that's unexpected, but I, I don't see any harm in that. I, I'll have to check my work schedule first. Do you need the arrangement right away? No? Okay, well, uh, when will you need it? Whenever I'm available, then. Okay. Uh. All right. I'll 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 text you a date then. I promise I will. Stop giving me that look. I swear. I said I'd stop avoiding you, and I meant it. Anyways, what? What's the arrangement for? I can work on some ideas for the piece ahead of time if I know what it's for. A secret. Why? It doesn't make sense not to tell me. Huh? 
Oh, oh, you gotta go. Right, okay. Uh, I hope your parents have a wonderful anniversary and that they enjoy the flowers. I'll see you for your secret arrangement. <sighs> that was weird. Why wouldn't they tell me what the arrangement's for? And what was with that wink when they said it was a secret? That nearly made me faint. Crap. <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh, I'm freaking out. What am I going to do? No, no, they're not here yet. But soon they will be. Seriously, how am I going to act around them? Jack? That was before I realized I had a crush on them. It's going to be near impossible for me to act natural. Listen to me. I'm ranting to you on the phone. I don't call anyone. I... Uh, I just... I don't want to screw up a possibly great friendship with my mess of emotions. Please, help. Do they seem interested? I, I don't know. I... I mean... I thought they who must not be named was interested in the real me, and look how that turned out. What if they're just nice to all their friends and I'm reading too much into it? I just... I can't risk it. Oh, wait. I think they're coming. I, I gotta go. I'll text you later. Hey, you're right on time. How, um, uh, how have you been? Good. That's... that's good. 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 Good is good. <laughs> yep. M me? I'm <laughs> fine. B b better than fine, I think. I'm great. Hmm? Jumpy. Me? N no, uh, <laughs> I, I, I might be having a caffeine boost from my last cup of black tea, but uh, still, I, I promise I'm, I'm fine. So, let's talk about this mystery arrangement of yours. <laughs> Not that I have been obsessing over it or anything, just a healthy level of curiosity. <laughs> you know me. Uh, a surprise gift? Well, that doesn't really give me a lot to work with. I need more detail. Guess. Well, you didn't need it by a certain date, so maybe it's an appreciation gift. How about a uh, congratulations bouquet? A, a get well soon present? Uh, I give up. Please, tell me. I need to know so I can make the perfect arrangement. Oh. Oh, you want to give you, y your, um, your crush a one-of-a-kind flower arrangement. How, uh, how sweet. Well, I, uh, I, I can definitely make something memorable for you and your crush. Um, did you have anything in mind as far as flowers or colors? Anything? Ah. You're going to confess to them. That's... Wow. And you want the arrangement to reflect that. Okay, I, uh... I can do that. Um, let me just think for a moment. Um... Well... Going with the dozen long stem red roses is a classic move, but you want something unique, otherwise you <laughs> you don't really need me for that. Uh if you don't mind me asking, is your crush a a bold person? Or 
Uh, okay, so they're on the shy side. So you definitely don't want to intimidate them with bold reds. <laughs> that could scare them off. Uh, maybe some pink and lavender tones. I, uh, hmm. I uh, actually have a violet couture vase in stock. Uh, here. Pretty, huh? Since it's for a confession, I think um, these light pink hydrangeas will do. Just gotta trim them to fit. Oh. Right. Lessons. Uh, pink hydrangeas are linked with heartfelt and sincere emotions. They also carry the meaning of love. If you look at the in... <clears throat> um, sorry. <laughs> uh, if you look at the individual blossoms on these pretties, you'll find that they resemble a heart. Isn't that cute? And here's a fun fact. Most hydrangeas grow in a single color per plant. But the big leaf hydrangeas changes color from pink to blue based on the solid pH balance. Yeah, that should be enough. Now I'll get these lavender roses ready. These unique yet stunning roses can make a real statement. The lavender rose is tied to enchantment and wonder and splendor and mystery. However, they also represent love or enchantment at first sight. It'll be a nice message to give your crush. <clears throat> uh, I'm also going to add these pink stargazer lilies. These stars of the floral, ro floral world... <clears throat> Sorry, I... The caffeine really... It's really doing a number on me today, I think. Uh, um, these... These popular flowers... Um, they symbolize success and determination, commitment, passion, and fulfillment of dreams. It's a perfect embellishment for this piece. <laughs> I mean, who, who could say no when receiving these beauties? So, uh, I don't mean to pry, but could you... Tell me a little bit more about your crush. Just so I can personalize this more. Like, uh, what is it you like about them? Oh. <laughs> well, don't you have a way with words. They're beautiful and graceful when they're working. They're also geniuses in their work field, too. Wow. They sound great. Um, that should be enough stargazers. And I think I know how to make this arrangement a little more meaningful. Alstromerias. Though, instead of white like last time, I believe purple would be more suitable. <laughs> For this arrangement... These will stand for the romantic connection that will, hopefully, um, be between you two. They stand for something deeper and stranger than simple passion. The color purple stands for elegance and grace and beauty. The same uh, characteristics you described for uh, your crush. <laughs> and... Uh, I'll throw in these purple stock flowers. Usually tied to joy and happiness, they also symbolize beauty that doesn't fade with age or time. It's almost like telling your loved one that no matter what happens, you consider them the most beautiful person in the world. <laughs> Quite the romantic notion, right? I know I would be happy to hear that. I mean, <laughs> if I would be happy to hear that, surely your crush will too. 
<laughs> um, mm. Not now, Jack. Uh, uh, luckily, uh, I have some pre-cut uh, variegated pitosporums that can be used as filler. Yep. Uh, I think we're set. Um, and now I just have to put them all together and you're good to go. So, um, <clears throat> you're, uh, you're going to confess to them right after this? Well, <laughs> good luck. Not that you'll need it. <laughs> Whoever they are, they're very lucky to have such a kind and thoughtful admirer like you. I know I would be, uh, well, anyone, <laughs> anyone would be lucky. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> this is almost finished. I just have to move this one over here, that one over there, and, and done. What do you think? <laughs> well, I have to agree. It it came out beautifully. I'm. I'm sure your crush will appreciate this gift. Uh, so, uh, this number here, that'll be your total for the arrangement. Is the, is the price okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so, are they at work right now? You're just going to hand deliver these and confess? Oh, you have a whole plan. You're going to ask them on a date, too. How, um, nice. Can I ask, uh, can I ask what you have planned for the date? N not to be nosy, just, uh, well, okay, I am just being nosy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, really? You don't mind me knowing? Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> oh, are those theater tickets? No. Oh, oh uh, are you sure it's okay to just hand them to me? Uh, if you say so. Oh, <laughs> tickets to visit the local gardens. Wow, <laughs> I haven't had a chance to visit there yet. I hear they have a sunflower maze and... A large, crystal-clear pond that has the most amazing water lilies. Oh, man. What I wouldn't give to go see all those pretties up close and in person. Just imagine... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to nerd out on you. Or make it about me. <sighs> Here you go. Here's your tickets. Uh... The, don't you need both of these? I know I gushed about the gardens, but I can get my own ticket later. Plus, this is for your crush. Don't let me... I couldn't possibly... Oh. M me? Your crush is... Really? No, hey, <laughs> don't roll your eyes at me. I'm serious. I honestly thought you were just being a good friend to me. Uh, don't stop giving me that look. I really thought that. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So, you really think all that stuff you said about me? Earlier? You know, the, the nice stuff? <laughs> Despite the tea incident? You think I'm... <laughs> beautiful and graceful when I work. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. So you planned all of this just to ask me out? You even <laughs> had me make my own arrangement, which I made you pay for. No, no, uh, here, no, take, the, no, please, just Consider it payback. 
Payback for what? For the misunderstanding. Oh, wait, you... Uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't hide my disappointment as well as I thought. <laughs> In my defense, I am clueless, and I honestly had no idea you felt the same way. Well, yes, yes, really. I, I guess I just didn't want to get my hopes up, you know? Will I? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, uh, I would like to go on a date with you. The ticket says it's for this Saturday, so what time should we meet up? Uh, but if I, if I can make a suggestion, if we go early in the morning, we should be able to catch the morning light bouncing off the water lilies just right. Does that? Sound okay? <laughs> well, well, good. I guess I'll see you then. Huh? Uh, well, <laughs> of course I'll enjoy the flowers. While I technically did make the piece, they're, they're from you. And <laughs> if all of them... The, uh, meanings and, um, thought behind it rings true, then how could I ever be mad about getting this as a gift? Not just the flowers, I mean. I mean, <laughs> you. Okay, okay. All right, stop with the praising. My heart can't take it. <laughs> and my face is all red. Mm. Should I text you later? Yeah? Okay, I will. And I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Saturday. Uh, bye. Holy crap. Holy crap! Yeah. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Guess who has a date this Saturday? Uh, um, uh, uh, I'm not fidgety. Okay, a little fidgety. It's just... <laughs> this is really embarrassing. No. No, I'm not making noises on purpose. But you touching my face and staring at me like this is... difficult. If me blushing makes it hard for you to count my freckles, then that sounds like a you problem. I can't just turn it off. You're just so... close. Your hand on my chest, the other poking at my freckles. You're practically climbing me like a Virginia creeper. What? A cryptid? No, it no, it's a type of vine, silly. <sighs> no, if you lose count, that's on you. You're not going to shut me up. The silence makes it even more embarrassing, and I talk when I'm nervous, so let me live. <sighs> Precious boy, I... I don't know about all that. I'm... Uh, I mean, precious is too nice of a word for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, fine. I'm a precious boy. You're right. Uh, <laughs> 
you're dangerous when you do that whole, that, that thing where you know what you want and you'll have it that way thing. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> yep, yep, that is, that is good to know. <sighs> All right, so how many freckles do I have on my face? What? You, you weren't actually counting. We've been here for, it's been like 30 minutes. You were just touching my face the whole time? Staring at me? Making me a mess? I mean, uh, a mess, uh, emotionally. You know, from being nervous. <laughs> hey, don't try to get out of this. You've been toying with me this whole time? <laughs> See if I show you the rest of my freckles. Oh, you thought they were just on my face and forearms? I mean, I guess you could assume that, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, now you want to count for real? Well, I mean, I don't hate being close to you, I guess. But now... Now you're being real sus. Uh, um, uh, uh, hey, you're, you're leaning in awfully close. <laughs> do you, do you really have to look that closely? Wait, wait, what? You want to, hold on. Let me just make sure I heard you right. You want to kiss? Every freckle? Wait, kiss? Ah, um, uh, uh, no, 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 that's not a bad thing. I'm not bothered. I, I like kisses. Who doesn't like kisses? I just mean, um, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm bothered, not, but not in a bad way. I just wasn't expecting that. I mean, expecting you to want to, uh, to kiss me. I, uh, I guess I'm a little dense. Yeah. Uh, my glasses are fogging up. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. If you want to kiss my freckles, you could. It would be okay. I mean, more than okay. I'd... I'd really like that. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <sighs> hey, how are you so good at that? Your lips are so... Sweet, and every kiss feels so deliberate. I mean, I, I know they're not accidents. I just mean, even kissing my cheeks, you convey a lot of feeling. Hmm? What? Which freckle? Close to my... Oh... My lip. Uh, well, I said you could kiss all the ones on my face. That one included. So, you, you can kiss me, or kiss it, I mean. <clears throat> Ask you to? Oh, uh... All right, um, would you kiss that freckle? 
um, this one here on on my lip. Huh? You want me to say? Oh, oh, goddess. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let me try again. Please. Would you please kiss me? I want you to kiss me. Not a peck. Not a smooch. I want to feel those sweet lips of yours against mine. I want to know when you're kissing me that you're not just kissing my freckle. I want you to kiss me. Please. Please. I've been a precious boy for you, haven't I? I've been so good. See? I can be sweet for you. I can be whatever you want me to be. Just for you. Please, tell me there's another freckle around there. <sighs> and another? That's, um, <clears throat> that's a good time. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Show you the rest of what? Uh, oh, the rest of my freckles? You want to see them? Or, um, do you want to keep... Kissing them? <laughs> well, if I had to choose, your kisses are very nice. But I have to warn you, there are a lot of freckles all over. If you get off of me, I can show you. <laughs> You see, I was always self-conscious about my freckles, you know. I mean, I, I think freckles are cute, but something about it being me just made me worry about what people would think. I mean, it's not just my cheeks and arms, but my chest, stomach, uh, uh, other areas. But you... You make me feel beautiful. With you, I feel like I'm in full bloom. Your warmth nourishing me like the sun. My star. <laughs> How lucky am I to have you fall right into my lap. <laughs> All right, so I'll just... Kick back and let you, uh, um, uh, wow, uh, please, uh, please, um, count the rest of my freckles. Ah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> The crisp fall air, leaves blowing in the breeze, and my precious sunflower here with me. I'm glad we made some time to come out here to this pumpkin patch. Sadly, there's not nearly as much going on this year. 
no rides or games or anything like that, but it's still gorgeous. And it does make for a pretty cute date. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not complaining about the lack of screaming children. It's peaceful. And, uh, if you don't mind me saying, the fall colors really suit you. Yeah, you're, you're pretty cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, I'm not, I'm not exactly, uh, experienced with the whole mushy stuff, so... Something I say sounds weird. Forgive me. <clears throat> so, we're, uh... We're picking out some pumpkins, right? That shouldn't be too hard. What? How to pick out a good pumpkin? Is that a trick question? All pumpkins are good, clearly. Big ones, small ones, uniquely shaped ones... Yes. Yes, even that one that looks like it's melting. Oh. Oh, it's... Mm. It's rotten. And literally melting. Okay, um, well, that was a good pumpkin. But I don't think that one is coming home with us. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it kind of smells. Let's... 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 Let's move down here now that we've established that there are no bad pumpkins. But you should know that there are pumpkins that are more suited for carving. The bigger the pumpkin, the bigger your canvas. So do keep that in mind. You'll also want one with a well-rounded bottom so it'll stand upright when you display it. What? What, what, what did I say? Well, you're certainly giggling about something. Well, rounded bottom? Well, <laughs> it's true. Oh, ah, I see. Well, where I come from, we call a well-rounded bottom versatile. Huh? Is that... is that not what you meant? Oh, butts! Ah, oh, well-rounded bottom. I... Oh. Oh, isn't that lewd? So lewd. Don't let the pumpkins hear you. No, no. You're the cute one. I merely learned what I know about being cute from you. <laughs> oh, you think I'm a quick study? Well, <sighs> all right, all right. I'll take the compliment, but only because I trust your judgment. <laughs> you think I'm pretty swell through your eyes, huh? Uh, but oh boy, when I see you, especially out here like this, the moment we start holding hands, it's like everything goes into slow motion, and it all gets cinematic, and Fleetwood Mac starts playing in the background. <laughs> so, if you see me anything like that, well, then I'll count myself as a very lucky fellow. What? What's that look for? You've got something to show me. I thought we were making pumpkin friends. This is very suspicious. Tis the season, I suppose. Corn maze? Well, yeah, the entranceway is right over there. Is this the part where you harvest my organs here at this ghost town of a pumpkin patch? Because honestly, I do have to compliment your taste in setting, but open air and in the dirt is a great way to get an infection. Unless you just wanted to leave me there to rot, in which case... <laughs> Nothing like that? Not even a little? 
What do you mean there are other ways to get up in my guts? Whoa, okay, all right, here we go. <sighs> you are very cute when you're spontaneous like this. Though it is... It is slightly intimidating. Oh, oh no, no. The intimidation is positive. Trust me. <clears throat> that being said, I hope you're good at doing this whole maze thing. Because if your goal is to get to the end... Uh, oh. Oh, the plan is to reach a dead end. Well, well then you're in luck, because I am pretty hopeless at this sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if I was in a slasher movie... I'd be the nerd who gets killed off because he zigged when he should have zagged. For sure. So, maybe I'm being nosy, but is that why you brought your backpack? Mm-hmm. You've got the tools of the trade in there, don't you? What exactly are you plotting? A surprise picnic would be cute, but... The devilish grin on your face tells me it's something... else. Now, I can't tell if this is a trick, or a treat, or both. Both. Sh <laughs> should this be flustering me as much as it is? Because I don't know if my radar is just tuned funny, but... It seems like we went from cute and wholesome to, uh, how do you say H word rhymes with thorny like a rose? <laughs> mm, I'll see, huh? Okay. And, uh,. Sure looks like we didn't go the right way. Or we did, depending on your intentions. Um, this is a nice little dead end. It's quite a, quite a lovely end here in this corn maze with you. This isn't about to be scary, is it? <laughs> no. No, I trust you. Mm, but maybe you should kiss me again just to reassure me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so what are you scheming? All right. Okay, show me. <laughs> um... That, that looks like something I would have never thought to bring to a pumpkin patch. Um, you, okay, I do appreciate that you've brought a blanket. I would, if you had pulled out the, the blanket first, I definitely would have thought that we were doing a picnic thing, but. Is that what you meant by up in my guts? <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I do like being risky. And you would look very good. With that, so, I think you should kiss me again. <laughs> There's nobody here. I'm fine doing whatever. <laughs> I'm no scaredy cat. Hmm, so long as you think you're uh, 
fit for the job. You know how to handle that thing? <laughs> mm, then do your worst. Hey, I'm so glad you could come over. I'm sorry for having to call you here for this, but I could really use some help. It's just, I haven't been to a potluck in, well, uh, ever. And I'm not really sure what I should bring. Yeah. I know you said that I was in charge of drinks, but I don't just want to buy some random bottles at the last minute. Isn't the point of a potluck to, you know, bring something you made? Well, I guess I could make a tea blend, but I don't think I can get enough ingredients to make a big enough batch. I doubt enough people there will like tea anyway. I don't know. What do you think? Cocktails? They're not really my thing. I only really know how to make a gin and tonic, and that's just only two ingredients. It needs to be something good, something festive. What would I drink? Well, tea, obviously. Oh, and a creamy hot cocoa with a sprinkling of cinnamon. Mmm, that always warms me up on a cold night. Oh, oh, I know. Wassel. You know, wassel. You, ah, uh, you don't know. Well, just trust me, it's perfect. It's this delicious cider mold with festive spices and baked apples. Mm -hmm. It's the best drink to share, and it'll keep everyone warm for sure. I, and I think I have plenty of ingredients for it, too. I just need to check the kitchen. Well, sure, you can help me make it. If you want to, that is. Yeah? Good, because I'll probably need some help with the pot. It'll be pretty heavy once it's filled. Come on. <laughs> all this? Well, yeah, I, I actually use all these herbs. I grew them myself. Most of these are for tea, but the rest... Well, they're not really edible, but the scents they produce are just lovely. Don't you think? <laughs> Ah, okay, so, um, let's get out the big pot and baking tray here and we can get started. Oh, you want a lesson? On wassail? Um, uh, sure. I could tell you about it as we make the batch. Yeah, that's fine. It's nothing fancy, just some stuff that's easy to throw together, but I like the simplicity. Um, uh, could you get the apples for me? They're in the fruit bowl over there. Also, grab a lemon and an orange. I'll get all the spices and the rest. Uh, need to preheat the oven. Go, oh, thanks. You can go ahead. Oh, sorry, I'm a little clumsy. Uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, you can start peeling the apples. Ah. Uh. Right, okay, um, the lesson. Well, um, there's not really much to it. It's an old English drink that would be shared around during the twelfth night. Um, the last night of the twelve days of Christmas. Back then, they would play pranks on each other and even serenade apple trees. <laughs> yeah, I know, it is pretty strange. Singing to a tree? Come on, <laughs> who would ever? <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> Not me. I I don't sing. <laughs> uh, uh, the things people did before the internet, am I right? Had to entertain yourself somehow, right? Uh, yeah, okay. That's great. We just need to remove the cores and fill the coreless apples with brown sugar. I don't think people still celebrate the Twelfth Night like they used to, but I have heard that in Cornwall, they have some sort of festival with wassail, and they have Morris dancers and, yes, serenading apple trees. I, don't ask me. I don't know why that was a thing in the first place. 
if you're going to sing to the tree for the wassail, you would want to sing to it before you got the apples, right? Otherwise, it's making apples. It doesn't know what the apples are going to be used for. <clears throat> Anyways. <sighs> now, we want to put the apples in the baking tray and add the orange and pour in some water and then into the oven it goes. Um, that'll take like 30 minutes and let's get the all important cider ready for when that's done baking and no you cannot drink it while we wait there'll be no cooking under the influence in my kitchen okay that should be about done hmm ah that smells good <laughs> Hands off. No eating the apples. At least wait till they're swimming in the pot. First, we need to pour all these lovely juices from this tray into the pot and put that on to simmer. Well, here. Since you're feeling peckish... Yeah. Don't think I didn't see you tasting pure sugar earlier. You can taste the pre-cider concoction. How is it? Good. Oh, just wait until we add the cider and spices. This is going to be perfect for the potluck. You know, I never really thanked you for inviting me. I'm not really a big party kind of guy, but I really appreciate that you thought of me. And I'm really glad that you want me to hang out with you and your friends. I just hope that I won't be too much of an embarrassment. <laughs> well, I mean, because you're you. You're perfect and pretty, and you get along well with people, and they like you, and I'm just a me. I can barely hold a conversation. I've always got dirt on my hands from tending to the flowers, and I'm just um, awkward. You think my awkwardness is cute? Well... Guess I could live with being cute. I just hope that your friends see me the same way. Well, not exactly the same way as you, obviously. I still don't know how I got so lucky to be going out with you. But I'm happy. Yeah. Very happy. No, oh, the pot! Uh, we, we can't let the juices burn. Oh, okay, okay. That was a close one. All right, uh, I think that's more than ready for the cider. So let's pour it in. Yep, all of it. There we go. And plop in the apples and our citrus fruit. And we add a little more sugar. Oh yeah, more sugar. Gotta keep it sweet. And now the spices. We need a bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. Yes, some ginger in there too. Ooh, I think that looks good. Just need to turn up the heat and let it come to a boil. See, this is easy and it tastes as good as it looks. What? Like me? <laughs> what? you talking about? I'm not a beverage. <laughs> um, it'll probably take a while for that to boil when the pot is almost full of the brim. <clears throat> What's that look for? Mm, yes, it is a look. You've got that mischief in your eyes. I just said it's going to take a while till the wassail is ready. We could taste it, but it won't be very hot yet. Oh, well, I, I, the finding out about the taste as good as I, I, you know, I think being near the oven has got me a little too warm. Yep, it is definitely too hot in this kitchen. Maybe we should move to a room that isn't, uh, mm, mm. oh, 
Uh, do you enjoy torturing me like this? You make me sweat up a storm when you do that. No. <laughs> I don't think my nervous, flushed face is very cute. What's so attractive about me sweating, huh? Speaking of, can I at least grab something to wipe the sweat off my face? You know, before I combust. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, oh. Um, so, uh, do you think your friends will like it? The wassail, I mean. No, that it's probably not what they expected, but I hope they enjoy it. And I am really looking forward to the potluck. I'll be a nervous wreck meeting new people, but I know that as long as you're there, I'll be less scared about socializing outside of my own circle. Yeah. Yeah, like you're holding my hand. Metaphorically, I mean. I'll actually need your hands to help carry this to the potluck. And because with that much cider, it's going to be a two-person job to drag it through the door. <laughs> After that, well, all bets are off. Hey! Thanks for coming over. I... oh... Well, yeah, I know I don't need to thank you or anything, but... You know, I like spending time with you. Come on in. Make yourself at home. I can take your coat if you'd like. Here. Would you like some tea? I've already got the kettle going. Of course! Was there a tea you had in mind? If not, I have a couple of blends I've been working on if you'd like to try one. The first one is a bit spicy, while the other is soothing and floral. <laughs> I suppose it can be a bit hard to choose, huh? How does this sound? I'll make one of each, and you can try both of them. You can pick your favorite and have that, and I'll drink the other one. All right. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get those for us. You go ahead and grab a seat. It'll just be a minute. And here you go. Go ahead and try whichever one you want. This one is a spicy one. It's a white tea. White peony, to be exact. With peppercorns and dried strawberries and just a pinch of safflower. White peony is quite floral and fruity, so I figured adding something sweet and tangy like strawberries would, um, help to bring that out a bit. The peppercorns obviously make it a bit spicy, but putting it with the white peony and strawberries creates a nice balance. And then the safflower adds another level of sweetness without overpowering the other ingredients. Ah, I'm... Rambling a bit, aren't I? <laughs> well, yeah. I guess you wouldn't be here if you couldn't handle the occasional ramble. Here's the other tea. This one has mint and rosemary and dried lavender. Oh, and rosebuds, too. I also put just a touch of honey into your cup to sweeten it up a bit. I uh, hope you don't mind. So, what do you think? Do you like them? <laughs> I'm glad. You can go ahead and pick whichever you want. That one? Good choice. Somehow I figured you'd pick that. I'll take this one then. <clears throat> An indirect kiss? Um, I mean, you're not wrong, but I promise that wasn't my intention. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. You can't just say something like that out of the blue and expect me not to get a bit flustered. Like I said, it's not like I meant for it to be like that. And besides, 
Why bother with an indirect kiss when I can just do this? <laughs> See, now you're the one who's flustered. So, what was it you said you wanted to do today? A flower crown? Oh, sure thing. I'm sure that together we could make one that's perfect for you. Oh, one for me too? Oh, I'm... I'm not sure that would suit me. Uh, well, I guess you're right. Oh, on second thought, I suppose it would be pretty on brand for me. And, um, cute, if you want to put it that way. Well, let's go ahead and get started then. We can pick some flowers out of my garden. It's right this way. Now, I don't have as wide of a selection as I do at the shop, but I think we've got enough here to make some nice flower crowns. Did you have anything in mind for which flower you wanted to use? Colors, maybe? Pinks and reds. Okay. Uh, sure thing. I've got a few options for that. I've got some pink hydrangeas and... Red and pink roses, red and pink peonies, pink ones? Great! In this case, um, if you didn't know already, those can be used to symbolize love at first sight. And <laughs> I'm not just saying that you love me at first sight or anything like that, I'm just, uh, you know what I mean. Let me, let me just get those for you. Anyway, as for red flowers, I have those red roses, as well as poppies. I'm sure you already know what red roses mean, and red poppies are generally used to symbolize remembrance. Hmm. Yeah. The roses would probably be better for something like this. I'll go ahead and get those, too. Alright, mm, did you want any other flowers? Don't be shy, I've got plenty. Well, if you're all set, then I'll go ahead and pick out the flowers for your flower crown. Firstly... Hmm... I'll start off with some lavender. I, uh... I, uh, hope you don't mind purple. Mm, I remember I told you about how these can represent purity and such. But for this, I wanted to tell you how they can also represent love and devotion. Mm. And I think this would look nice with some blue thistle. Thistle is actually classified as both a flower and a weed. And as such, some cultures attach a um, negative and even aggressive meaning to it. And uh, I guess that sounds bad, but hear me out. Other cultures see it as a symbol of strength and protection. I think the fact that some people find beauty in something that others don't is... Uh, I don't know. Inspiring? <laughs> and please don't think I'm comparing those to you. I assure you, you are beautiful through and through. And I'm certainly not the only one who thinks so. In fact, you're probably the most beautiful person I've ever met. <laughs> Um, uh, I'll just, uh, grab these real quick. <sighs> also, if you don't mind me suggesting, I think baby's breath would be just perfect for tying both of our flower crowns together nicely. I mean, if you don't want them, that's fine, but, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, great. I'll get some for both of us. Perfect. I think we've got enough to make the flower crowns now. Let's head back inside. Now, let me just grab some floral wire and floral tape. Right over here. 
Perfect. I'll measure some wire for your crown and you can measure some for mine. And we can just cut these right there. Okay. I'll uh, just leave the scissors right here in case the flowers need to be trimmed anymore. And for when you need the tape. So, let's get to work. Just go ahead and wrap what's left of the flower stems around the wire, and you fasten it in with the tape like this. See? Yeah. Just like that. Perfect. I guess we still have some tea left here if you want it. Although I suppose it's a little cold now. I can get you a new cup if you want. No? Okay. Well, we should probably go ahead and finish this up, huh? Uh, 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 uh. All right, and finished. You almost done with yours? Perfect. Here, let's swap them and try them on. Here's yours. And I'll take the one you made for me. Oh, wow. You look stunning. <laughs> you think I do too? <laughs> it's only because you did so well making this. Hey, my face is not the same color as the flowers. I'm not blushing it. Okay, maybe I'm blushing just a little, but hey, hey, wait, don't tell me. Is that why you picked these colors? Just so you could say that? Uh, I should have known. <laughs> well, regardless, I think both of our flower crowns turned out lovely. Now come here so I can wipe that smirk off your face. Hmm. Ah, it's the perfect day for a hike. I've been eager to bring you out here. There are some nice trails around here, but this one, this one is all mine. The beaten path here was laid by deer and other wildlife. Then I followed their trails and cleared the way for myself. It's my little slice of serenity. Or a slice that I borrow from whoever actually owns the land here. But I've never been caught or ran into anyone else, so... Eh. <laughs> it is a little bit of a stretch to call this much of a hike. The terrain is mild at best, but walking through nature and taking in all of the sights and sounds interests me a little bit more than working up a sweat. I don't have the stamina for climbing mountains. Uh, well, I mean, I could do it, but you'd have to convince me a bit. And after I show you this trail, you'll see why I'm perfectly happy just sticking to mostly flat terrain. Just a few hills and dips and curves. Like me. <laughs> <clears throat> Up ahead, there's a stream that feeds into the river further down the way. If you veer left at the fork up ahead, there's even a cave. It's, um, a little creepy, and not on any map I've ever seen, so, uh, I don't go in there. I've seen how that movie ends. Yeah. After descending through the levels of hell, you then have to escape and it gets crazier and scarier all the way until you reach the top again. Only to realize you were already in hell to begin with. 
and I don't have a whole cast of people to go with me, so I'm definitely dying first and last. <laughs> uh, oddly specific? I'm telling you, I saw it in a movie once. And that is why we're going right at the fork in the road. Because down this way, there are rainbows and warm breezes and honeysuckle. Smell that? Oh, I love honeysuckle. What? What? You're looking at me expectantly. Let me guess. You think I'm going to tell you all about honeysuckle? Well, well, you're right, but you don't have to say it. <laughs> well, not only do they smell delightful, they're a favorite of hummingbirds, and the petals are edible. Well, they are pretty delicious, but I wouldn't recommend eating them in the wild. You never know who else has tried to snack on them before you. Or use the bathroom nearby. Or, well, you know, it's just not a great idea. Do they have a mushy meaning? Why, yes, they do. Because it's a gentle vine, it's often representative of love that clings without harm. Like, I need you, and I'll hold on to you but I'll also just sit here and look pretty and love you. And you can also eat my petals. Hmm, <laughs> <sighs> well, honeysuckle is much more than a sweet romantic flower, though. But I don't know how deep you want to go. <clears throat> as d deep as I can. <laughs> Uh, um, mm hmm Okay, well, now that I'm red as a rose. <laughs> In Old Irish and Druidry, there's an alphabet called the Ohm. Honeysuckle represents the 23rd letter, Eulen. There are various contexts for this, and some believe it represents secrets self-discovery, and shelter. Others believe it represents staying true to your path. There's a whole lot of deferring opinions and mythologies that have cropped up over time, borrowing from one culture or another and mixing and melding. There's power in language, I think. But even more so in what we ascribe to those words, those totems and images. Sometimes, there's a deeper meaning. And sometimes, it's just a honeysuckle. What am I? <laughs> oh, my love. Today, <laughs> today, I am just a honeysuckle. Let's continue on, hmm? <sighs> here we are. Sometimes I come out here, and if my feet get tired, I'll soak them in the stream. It's refreshing, but uh, pretty cold, too. And further down, there's a nice fishing hole. Or a great spot for bathing, if you're into getting naked in the wilderness. <laughs> Skinny dipping? Well, you could call it that, I suppose. Depends on the mood, and if you have any company. <sighs> I like this path. How long have I been coming out here? Oh gosh, it feels like... Forever. 
Well, it is pretty special. That's why I brought you. <laughs> oh. Is... Uh, is something wrong? You just froze up and... A bug? Where? Oh! Oh! Oh, gosh. Oh. 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 Are you alright? Oh. Um. Um. Here, I've, I've got you. Come with me. Let's get away from here. Oh. Yikes. He <laughs> really took a liking to you, huh? Oh. Oh, sweetheart. Uh, I, oh, dear, I didn't know you were afraid of bugs. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. It's all right. You're safe. You squeeze my hands as tight as you need to. No, please. Don't be embarrassed. It's okay. No, no. Honey, don't worry about that. You don't have to explain phobias and the like. If it bothers you, it bothers you. Just... Just breathe for me, okay? Here. Watch me. Breathe with me. It's okay. You're safe. I've got you. There's no more bugs, I promise. Oh, trust me, I know. It's all right. It's all okay. Here. Let me dry your tears. That is, if you're willing to let go of my hands. Now, <laughs> it's okay. You've got quite the grip. Mm-hmm. A handkerchief. Is that really so surprising? Here. You have nothing to apologize for, love. You're still shaking. There. Oh. There. Now you're all dry. You're still shaking, though. Come, let's have a seat on this rock, and you can sit right here in my lap. I'll hold you until you're ready. Then, we can either keep going, or we can head on back. Alright? <sighs> there you go. Come here. Oh. Oh, big hug. Big, 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 big hug. Oh. Oh. No, I'm durable. I can take it. You squeeze all you need to, and we'll just stay here together and relax. Mm. Please don't be embarrassed. It's okay. You mind if I rub your back a little bit? Okay. <sighs> you keep taking those deep breaths, okay? Mm. <laughs> oh. 
I promise. It's fine. You haven't ruined anything. I'm just sorry that the bug startled you like that. The last thing you need to do is apologize for a panic attack. Am I scared of anything? Oh. I was. A long time ago. Scared of... Being forgotten. It's not quite the same thing as a bug. <laughs> but... Yeah, I used to feel like time was slipping away, and I became deathly afraid of that, of not making the most of the time we had, or the time I have. There are no guarantees, and, um... That was scary to me for a long time. But then it became a comfort. Yeah, I know, that's pretty vague. <sighs> you know what I'm really afraid of? Of some dumb bug ruining your day. <sighs> mm. You know... If we head back, we could get lunch, and uh, then we can reassess, maybe uh, come up with something else to do, something where a, a bug won't jump out and startle you. Oh, trust me, I'm going to be happy with whatever we do. I just want to enjoy my time with you, and the more you enjoy yourself, the happier I am. So what do you say? All right. Let's go. You keep holding my hand, okay? Uh, oh, no, it's not weird. I'm... I'm really glad that you took an interest in my, uh... Interests. Um, <clears throat> so... Um... Everyone's craft is unique to them. Um, uh, what I do may be completely different than what someone else swears by. But that doesn't mean either of us is wrong, really. It's just the beautiful diversity of the craft. Anyone can be a witch, and anyone can make spells. You just have to read up on the meanings of things and believe it works for yourself. It's a lot like what I said about words. The power truly comes from the belief in the meaning that we give them. So, here we are. <laughs> um, feel free to ask me any questions about anything on my altar. I know there's a lot, and it may look odd to the uninitiated, this right here is my selenite sphere. N no, I don't use it as a gazing ball. But I do love how it looks like a mini-moon. The moon has always felt like a source of power in me. On full moons, I always get restless. Like I need to be doing something. That's when I always come up with my best spells. Ah. <sighs> Speaking of which, this is my moon water jar. I use it to spritz my room. It's like dousing your room in moon energy. It just... I don't know. 
It feels nice. It's like you've opened your whole room up to let the night right inside. To me, that's a comforting feeling. Uh, to others, well, I don't know. <laughs> that's right. I do have a lot of candles. I'm waiting for tonight's full moon to do a spell, but I haven't decided if I wanted to do a health spell or a happiness spell yet. Hmm. I'll tell you what. What if you pick which spell I'll do, and I'll give you a front row seat to the event? I'll help you through it, but it'll be all yours. Well, well, the white candle represents purity, the highest level of consciousness. You can use them to invoke lunar energy, and even as replacements if you're missing a candle of another color. I would use this one for a health or happiness spell. <laughs> health, because uh, sometimes I get sick and it always turns into a sinus infection. Ugh, it's the worst. <sighs> anyway. Uh huh. Red symbolizes fire, temporal satisfaction personal power, as well as scorn, and courage to stand up to one's enemies. It also gives an extra boost to Scorpios. You want to use this one? Oh, well, I, uh, I don't... Well, I guess we could. Pink represents the purest form of love. Unconditional and enduring. You could use it in a love spell to attract a person's attention and affection. If you have someone in mind, we could do that one. I'll go fetch my rose petals and quartz from my shadow box then. What? What? Well, I... <laughs> um... Huh? Me? Well... My goodness... How is that supposed to work when I'm already in love with you? Well, yeah. How couldn't I be? You... You let me speak to the ends of the earth about what I'm passionate about without judgment. You show interest and always want to be involved and hands-on. And the way you talk to the flowers when you think I'm not looking when you come visit me. <laughs> oh, gosh. You. You are so very open-minded and accept life so gracefully. Not to get any sappier than I'm already being, but I... I, I am inspired by you. I think very highly of how you handle yourself. Sometimes it feels like you're my muse. No. I hope I have extended even half of the amount of kindness and comfort to you. Because you... You deserve it. You... You deserve it so much. And I've always thought so. I've just been a bit reluctant to reveal my interest, make it obvious, because, well, you know, I don't know if I'm, or it, is your cup of tea. Feelings and me and such. I am. <laughs> Well then, I hope I'm a nice lavender tea that makes you feel all warm from your chest to your toes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what I mean to say is, um, maybe the pink candle is unnecessary tonight. But we still have a couple of other options, and I... Mm, mm, oh. That's nice. Would you... 
would would you kiss me one more time? Ah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh God, you are you're making me dizzy. Maybe it's all the incense in here. <laughs> uh, it's it's getting dark. The full moon is making me kind of restless. <laughs> um, one more. Mm. Mm. I guess all of my love spells worked then. <laughs> now, it's not like a love potion that's made you madly enamored with me against your will. It's more like putting hope and good energies out there into the universe and receiving them in return. They don't always take the form you were expecting. I thought maybe the spell just strengthened our friendship. Well, no. No, no, no. That, that wouldn't have been a problem. I would have had no problem with that at all. If even after this, things don't really change, I'd still be as happy and thrilled as I am right now in this moment. I just like you. And I want you in my life, no matter what form that takes. Sunflower. Hey, I'm back. And I brought tea. I've got your favorite. Sneak up on it, though. It's still pretty hot. <sighs> oh, thanks. Oh, this blanket is always so warm. Well, especially when I have you under it with me. Oh, D don't take that out of context. I just, I just realized what I said. That's not what I meant. <laughs> You're silly. But I love that about you. Even when that means you're trying to fluster me at every turn. <sighs> I love a gentle rainfall. It's always so calming. Sometimes I open the window and just watch. Seeing everything out there. And I focus on the sounds of the rain. It's like all my worries and fears just wash away with it all. Well, okay, and the plants like it too, so that's a bonus. I wish I could just bottle up moments like these so I can experience them again and again whenever things get to be too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like that. It can be really hard to get out of my own head sometimes. There's just... so much going on in there. And I know there's plenty of recordings of rain and everything, but it's just not the same, you know? It's just the sound. And even if it helps a little, you don't really get the full experience that way. Right. Exactly, you get it. People always associate rainy weather with gloominess, but if I'm honest, I just don't see it that way. Especially not a light rain like this one. How can anything so soothing and so essential to the lives of all of this world's organisms be gloomy? And it's always so beautiful when the rain slows, too. <sighs> Do you ever go outside just after the rain stops? 
I like to walk through the garden while it's still wet out. The droplets of water on the leaves and petals of the plants are so beautiful. And there's usually a rainbow in the sky, too. I also like to see if I can spot any rain-loving criddle... Cr criddles? Critters. <laughs> Snails. Earthworms. Even the occasional toad shows up among the flowers and wet soil. Whoa. Oh, you are so right. The smell after it rains is lovely. There's nothing like it. It's all... Wet and earthy. Oh, I, okay, I know that sounds weird, but you know what I mean, right? Well, yes, I suppose it is wet earth. Which is why it smells wet and earthy. But it's a unique scent. You can't just water any old dirt and soil and get that smell, right? Oh, did you know? There's actually a word for that smell. Mm-hmm. It's called petrichor, and it's produced when rain falls onto dry soil. It actually comes from an oil certain plants give off during dry periods, and then it's absorbed by clay and rocks. That oil gets released into the air along with geosmin, a byproduct of bacteria and stuff, and it gets emitted by the wet soil. The two compounds mixing together in the air creates that distinct post-rain smell. And if there's lightning, you may even get some ozone in there, too. How did I know all that? <sighs> Have you ever gone down a YouTube rabbit hole? Yeah. Yeah, it happens to me, too. Oh, and one last little fun fact about petrichor. The term comes from the Greek words petra, or petros, meaning rock or stone, respectively, and ikor, which flows through the veins of the gods, according to Greek mythology. Hey, when the rain slows down, you want to go out in the garden with me? Last time it rained, I found the cutest little frog. Maybe he'll pop up again and you'll get to meet him too. What do you say? Okay, awesome. I'm not sure when the rain is supposed to ease up, but that's okay. A day inside, curled up with you? That's a day well spent. <laughs> a nap? Well, I suppose we could do that for now, sure. From the looks of it, it'll probably still be raining for a while yet. Here, let me take your cup so I can set it down with mine on the table. <sighs> Alright. Come here, sunflower. In my arms. <sighs> you know, there have been lots of times where I wish I had someone with me on days like these. I don't know what it is about rain that gets me in such a mood for cuddles, but, well, <laughs> regardless, I'm glad I've got you. Not just for rainy day cuddling, of course. That's just a bonus. Alongside all of the other things I'm happy about these days. If I may, can I get sappy for a minute? I really do think my life has gotten better since you came into it. It's not always easy for me, you know. The whole... new people thing. But I'm glad I took a chance when it came to you. I never could have predicted us becoming what we are now. But I'm so grateful that we did. You had me spellbound from the moment I saw you. Absolutely vexed. It was almost like... Like my soul knew you would become someone special to me. I'm sorry if that sounds weird, but... Oh. Oh. It's not weird to you? 
Thank goodness. I mean, I know you're pretty open to things, but I guess... The concern that I'll scare you off is still there. <laughs> yes, even now. What can I say? You're one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And I don't want to lose you. Oh. You don't want to lose me either, huh? That's good. Oh. You need me. Careful. If you keep talking like that, I'm liable to hold you real tight and never let go. <laughs> Soulmates? Okay, that's it. Come here, you. <laughs> Listen, you can't just suggest being soulmates and expect me not to react. I'm, <laughs> I'm not snuggling into you to hide how flustered I am. Don't be silly. Come on, why would I... Okay, yeah, you got me. But can you blame me? I mean, someone like you says I might be their soulmate. Did you expect me to act calm after that? No. So you were trying to fluster me. That... That is a very you thing to do. You weren't... You weren't actually trying to fluster me? You were just being sincere. Well... In that case, sorry, I thought you were trying to get a rise out of me. And also... That makes me very happy. <laughs> mm. There we go. Sorry for assuming. You know, even if you were trying to fluster me, I'd still love you all the same. I know you just like to tease me because you think it's cute. I know it's from a place of love. <sighs> so, are you going to be able to sleep after all that excitement? <laughs> oh, we can certainly try. Hi there. I'll be with you in a second, all right? I just need to finish this bouquet. <sighs> and... There! Uh, sorry for the wait. Welcome to talk. Oh! Oh! Hey! It's you. I'm really sorry, but I, I don't think I could take any more orders today. Would it be alright if I made you your bouquet tomorrow? Oh. You're not here for flowers? Then may I ask why you would... <clears throat> drop by? You were looking for me? Well, how come? Today? Um, w what? What are you talking about? What? Wait, what? Today was the aquarium day? I thought that was tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I, I, oh. I haven't been able to check my phone since this morning. I've been so busy with this huge order that got moved all of a sudden, and I, I, I haven't been able to check my phone, and... Mm. Yeah. A couple who's getting married came by a few weeks ago and said they were interested in hiring me for their big day. They asked if I could prepare some sample centerpieces and sketch out some bouquets for them. We originally set our meeting to next week, but something came up, so they requested a reschedule, and I accepted in a panic and didn't realize that today was our date. I, look, I'm I'm really, really sorry. I'll I'll make it up to you, I swear. Please don't don't be mad. It's it's all my fault. You're not disappointed in me? 
You're truly the best, my little sunflower. You, you want to help me out? Are you, are you sure? I mean, I would be happy to have the extra hands around, but I won't force you. I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, well, all right then. Thank you for your help. Now, if you could just help me move these samples to the table in the center right over there. I set that up a little earlier so I could have a place to talk with the couple later on. Just careful now. You wouldn't want any accidents to happen. <sighs> All right, so the centerpieces are done. So are the boutonniere samples for the groom and the groomsmen. Now, um, a mini bouquet. Right. The bride wanted a small and simple bouquet, so maybe some tulips and chamomile. Hmm, some lavender might add a pretty good color contrast. Oh, but first, gotta cut up some ribbon to wrap the flowers in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, I think navy blue would be nice. Here, let's see. Um... Huh? Oh, yeah! I think the presentation looks perfect. Ah, oh, shoot! Ow! Mm. I, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I just accidentally sliced myself a little. Gosh. I should not have cut the ribbon while I wasn't looking. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. No need to look at it. It's. Mm, it's fine, really. I can handle this myself. It's not. Too deep. It won't need any stitches. It's just a little bit of a mess. Um, could I ask you to grab that towel over there, please? Thank you. Uh, oh, gosh. This is definitely going to set me back a bit. Mm. Uh, huh? Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit down. <clears throat> Uh, hey, could could I ask you to grab the first aid kit over in the back room? Should be on the top shelf somewhere, I believe. Thank you. How could I have been so careless? This is all my fault. <sighs> mm. Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm... I'm okay. I, this happens more times than I would like it to, but I, I'm okay. Crying? No. I, who said I was crying? I wasn't crying. <laughs> no need to apologize. I'm alright, I just wasn't expecting you to squeeze my hand. And your other hand against my cheek. It feels soft. And the warmth from your hand kind of feels like... Uh, the morning sunshine. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry, I just... I know I shouldn't be crying. It's just, I... I wasn't expecting this day to be as bad as it's become. The sudden change in deadline, and then forgetting our date. I mean, I know you told me that it was fine, and that I don't have to worry, but I can't help but feel bad about blowing you off again. I... and this... stupid cut, too... No, please. D don't apologize. This isn't your fault. I should have put the scissors down when you called my attention. That's just standard stuff. I was careless, and now... I'm sorry. I... I don't mean to be such a baby about all of this. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying sorry, then. And yes... 
I know the irony behind that. I should probably get back to work. <sighs> mm, how long have I been working? Uh, gosh, I don't even remember. I rushed to the shop as soon as I heard about the deadline change, and uh, I haven't really checked the time since. I haven't really taken a break either. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. A short break wouldn't hurt. But there's still so much to do, so much to prepare for, and I I just can't sit around and do nothing. Okay. Deep breaths. Together. Okay. Yes. I, I do feel a little better. Thank you. Anything else I need? Well, if it isn't too much to ask, may I ask you to brew me a cup of tea while I patch myself up? I have a bunch that you can choose from at the back. You should be able to find them on the table where the kettle is. There should be some cups as well that you could use. Thanks. Thank you, again, for all of your help. Hey, you're back. I just finished patching up. I'm curious to see what tea you picked. Mm. Oh. Oh, is that chamomile and a hint of lavender? Oh... I've had this tea for a while now, but I haven't had the chance to taste it yet. You taste good. Uh, uh, you, you have good taste. Sorry. <clears throat> mm. Oh. <clears throat> you heard me earlier when I was talking to myself. Oh, geez, that's embarrassing. But yes, in terms of flower arrangements... Chamomile daisies and lavenders have pretty great meanings for weddings. In the floral world, chamomile represents hope for one's dreams and wishes to come true. And as for lavenders, these lovable purple sprigs symbolize grace and devotion. On the other hand, in the tea world, well, chamomile is pretty well known, while lavender is still making a name for itself. Both flowers are great to have as bedtime tea. However, they also help to alleviate stress, lower anxiety and tension, and basically everything I need at this very moment, if you ask me. So, you have very good intuition. Mm. Thank you, my sunflower, for bringing me some sunshine back into my day. If it weren't for you, well, I would probably be a heaping mess on the ground. No, no. I mean, dramatic, yes, but accurate, uh, also, yes. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't do much? Just being here, offering to help, and taking care of me when I'm down, that's... that's all that I could ever ask for. So, thank you. You are my own personal bundle of sunshine, giving me a little boost of happiness and comfort when I needed it. <sighs> All right. Well, I think it's time for me to head back to work. You can stay if you'd like. Oh, there is one more thing I'd like to ask, though. Mm. Could I ask for a kiss? Oh, well, I know I kissed your cheek, but, um, 
And I know I don't need to ask, ask, but it felt right. I mean, I know I could just kiss you, but... But when you were asking me earlier if I wanted anything, it just sort of popped into my head and... Mm, mm. Ah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to work. Right. Mm. And maybe... Maybe I will do that chamomile and lavender bouquet. Oh. Hi there. Welcome to... Oh. <laughs> hey. You came early. Sorry, I didn't realize you'd come over so soon. Otherwise, I would have prepared the hot chocolate. Oh. You brought some? With marshmallows? Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Mm. Oh. Oh, nothing like a nice hot cup of cocoa to warm you up. Oh. Speaking of which, you look very, very cold. Yeah, I heard it's supposed to be snowing soon. I didn't check the temperature, but I think it's safe to say it's not really uh, balmy outside. Mind if I hold you close for a bit? Great. Come here. Mm. It always feels nice to hug you. Thank the goddess you didn't freeze out there. Then I would have to spend more time cuddling you. And that would just be... <clears throat> that would be such a... Such a hindrance to my, my plans. <laughs> You know I'm kidding. What have I been doing? Well, I figured that this would be the perfect time to decorate the shop before the holiday rush. I managed to get some nice decorations before they sold out, too. Some cute window stickers and some tinsel to hang around the place. Snow globes. There's also a few other decorations that I got in these boxes. I was planning on getting it all done today, earlier so we could spend more time together. You really want to help? Uh, well, of course. Thank you. This will definitely make things go faster, and it'll be a lot more fun doing it with you. All right. I already took care of a few decorations before you got here, so the rest shouldn't really take long. Could you just... Here, please set these figurines around the shop while I arrange the poinsettias. Doesn't really matter where, just as long as you can see them. Yeah, I found these cute little Christmas animal figurines. A few penguins, some polar bears, and you can't forget the reindeer. <laughs> Look, this one's got a red nose. <sighs> I know it's cheesy, but I couldn't help myself. Besides, I felt like these would be easy to scatter around without taking up too much space. There are also some other non-animal ones in this box here. We've got some snowmen and sugar plum fairies. All the classics. Great. Let's uh, get to it then. <laughs> the weather outside is Oh, yeah. Aren't these poinsettias pretty? They're so vibrant and lush. These are one of the most purchased plants around this time of year, so we've got a lot of them to prepare. You know, before these colorful beauties got their name, they were known as the Mexican flame flower because they're indigenous to Mexico and Central America. They were also called the painted leaf because of the leaf-like shape of their petals. <laughs> Sorry, not to start rambling again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My rambling is the only gift you need? 
Um, well, thank you. Or you're welcome, I suppose. <laughs> no, I'm not as red as the poinsettias. It's, it's just the hot chocolate that I took one sip of. <clears throat> yep, just, just the, the wonderful cup of cocoa. Oh, right, I haven't explained the meaning of these. <laughs> Most poinsettias we see are this beautiful, fiery color. However, wild poinsettias are also orange, green, pink, cream, or even marbled. The Aztecs considered these to be beautiful symbols of purity and were used in traditional medicine. Not only are these the birth flower of December, but they also symbolize good cheer and success and are said to bring wishes of mirth celebration. They also have lots of ties to legends surrounding Christmas and religion. So, to put it simply, they're usually considered to be THE Christmas flower. Yeah, it's hard to get any more Christmassy than that. But of course, poinsettias aren't the only Christmas plant. We also have the holly, which is a symbol of fertility and eternal life. Druids use these because the holly is believed to have magical powers, believe it or not. And they also have many ties into religion and Christmas. Of course, we also have Christmas trees and wreaths made with holly, chestnuts, and plenty of other plants that have some connection to the holiday. Oh, yes. Many plants are tied into Christmas in one way or another, especially since the holiday has been celebrated in so many ways in different places and time periods. Not to mention some people celebrate it as part of a religion, while others just like the commercial version. Yep, that's why I made sure I had a lot of poinsettias this year. No matter how the day is celebrated, they're definitely a Christmas staple. And that should be it for all the arranging. You got all those little figurines set up? Ooh, wow, you have a keen eye for decorating. These look really great with the flowers. Oh, oh I love the teeny snowmen you put together. They even have a little mistletoe over them. Oh, <laughs> of course. How could I forget such a classic plant? Mistletoe, unsurprisingly, represents romance and fertility and vitality. Druids also valued these plants because of their healing properties. They were also likely the first people to use a mistletoe as decoration. As time went on, the tradition of kissing under the mistletoe sprouted, and that's been around for a while. What? Why are you giggling? <laughs> Did I say something funny? Wait a minute. I know that look. That's your I'm going to do something really mischievous face. You are planning something, aren't you? Look up. Well, why do I need to... Ah. Uh... <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. I... I... I forgot that I hung up the the mistletoe there before you got here. Um, the, does that mean that you'll... Mm, mm, uh, mm -hmm, um, uh, oh, uh, just real quick, could, could you maybe do that again, please? Mm. <sighs> mm, you planned that, didn't you? <laughs> mm, you are a mischievous little pine cone, aren't you? Always know how to fluster me. Was pine is pine cone not? Is that not hot? Was that not? Listen, I'm I'm just try, just trying it out. Just trying it out. Trying new things. <clears throat> Well, look, I can't help it. You're the 
the best gift I could ever ask for. You make my days merrier and my nights cheerier, and you always make me feel comfortable with being myself. Ever since we met, you've always managed to make me smile and make me feel loved and special. I just... Uh, I just hope that I make you feel the same in return. You're the most beautiful, wonderful, breathtaking person I've ever seen, inside and out. And I want you to know that I cherish every moment with you. And that I will always, always love you. <laughs> now see who has the red face. <sighs> I love you, too. Hey, before we get back to decorating, can I ask for one more kiss while we're here under the mistletoe? Uh, happy holidays, love. Ah, there we go. The soil is all packed in and ready for some cute little plant seedlings. Thank you so much for helping me with this raised garden. It's great that I finally get to have a real veggie garden here in my own backyard. I never thought I'd be able to with the yard being so small, but this raised bed idea was fantastic. Oof, it does get a tad bit dirty. My hands are pretty caked. That's all part of the fun though, right? And now that the soil mix is done, we can get to the extra fun part. Planting. Oh, yeah, let me show you. I got a few different ones from the plant nursery on the other side of town. I've been there a few times, but usually just to have a look around. They always have amazing house plants I can't find anywhere else. I've even had my eye on the stunning monstera they have. I don't think it would fit in the apartment, though. <laughs> Mmm. Ah, uh, but this time I got to scour their new seedlings for just the right ones for our garden. Don't worry, I made sure to get some of the ones you really wanted. It might just be my backyard, but it's our garden. <laughs> ah, so, um, let me show you. We have onion, spinach, beans, and a few herbs, too. Oh, and I also got these little guys. Ah, yeah, it, it is a little hard to tell when they're this young, but it's a strawberry plant. I know, I know, it's not technically a vegetable, but oh, you kept mentioning that you wanted to grow them, so I just wanted to get you something special. Besides, I think it will be a very good addition to the garden. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Here, pick out which one you want to plant first. And it's fine if you don't know which is which. It'll be a surprise. Ooh, okay, good choice. This is a type of bush bean. They grow fairly large, so it's actually best we put them in first and we make sure there's enough room for everyone else. Here, take this one out of the container and I'll take this one. We'll need to break up the soil at the bottom first, too, so be gentle. All right, there we go. How about yours? Yes, you did it just right. Are you sure you've never done this before? Hmm. Well, for someone who has allegedly never planted a garden before, you are already doing pretty well. <laughs> Maybe you're some sort of plant prodigy. A veggie virtuoso, if you will. Oh, oh, or even a... <laughs> what? Why are you giggling? No, I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm serious. The way you gently removed the soil was perfect, and you picked the perfect first seedling to place. Plant placement is vital for any garden. And speaking of, I think the best spot to have them is right here. This spot will be great for them. 
<laughs> Do I know any veggie facts? Well, my knowledge only really extends past basic gardening know-how and a couple episodes of Veggie Tales, but uh, I may not be as up to par with the produce as I am flowers, but I, I, I did I did a little bit of research just so I could know what to plant. And this right here is a harvester bean plant. It's a bush bean, so it doesn't grow super tall, and they will help supply nitrogen to the soil. I only got two since they do grow a bit Bushy, as the name would entail, but it should be a bountiful harvest come summer. You do like green beans, right? Yeah, I mean, as much as one can enjoy green beans, I suppose. All right, not gonna lie, these two plants will probably make way more than I can eat by myself, unless I make every meal green bean based. How many casseroles can I make? Why are they all just a green bean casserole? <sighs> okay, so we've got those two out of the way. Now which ones? Strawberries next. Okay, so they should go on the opposite end away from the beans. With the way the sun rises here, it'll be a perfect spot for optimal sunshine. I really want these ones to grow big and beautiful. You know, you remind me of a strawberry. <laughs> well, I mean, you remind me of how cute and sweet they are, and how everyone likes them. Well, they should like them. <laughs> uh, well, unless they're allergic, of course, in which case, well, then they'd probably have their throat close up and choke. And... Now that, <clears throat> that's a little grim, huh? Not that I'm saying you would kill anyone. Not without good reason. I just think you're cute. And I have a difficult time expressing it. I really do think you are cute, though. Sometimes it's hard to look at you because it makes my heart... Well... I don't know how to describe it. It's as if my heart... Squeezes. Like, if I look at you too long, I might implode. I mean, it's always been like that with you. Ever since I met you, my heart does that little squeeze. It's just the more we're together, the more it tightens. Mm. I'm getting red in the face, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Um, Here, take this. It's the onion. It'll emit a smell that... Certain strawberry-eating pests despise. It's also an ingredient in the many dishes I cook. I thought it would be a good idea to grow them myself. Oh, yeah, I, I love to cook. I don't think I ever made anything for you, have I? Well then, I guess that will be added onto the list of Finn's amazing date plans. Onions can be optional, depending on your preference. Oh, uh, no, 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 I totally don't, do not have an extensive list of dates I would love to go on with you, secretly written down in my diary. But if we were to have a dinner date, is there anything in particular you would like? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. That sounds good. I can I can look up some recipes. And we could cook together and use ingredients that we grew here in the garden. It'll be a while before any of this is ready to harvest, but a little anticipation makes a meal taste better. And we could maybe do some practice runs on other dishes until then. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yes. This gardening date was also on the date list. I waited a while so I could do it with you. Next on the list? Hmm, well, it wouldn't really be a surprise if I just told you, would it? I gotta try to be a little mysterious and romantic. I'm gonna go ahead and put the spinach right here, since I didn't get that many. 
Could you hand them to me? Thanks. All right. We're almost done. All we need is to put some of this fertilizer mix into the watering can and give these little ones a good drink. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It feels amazing to have someone to share my passions with. Someone that supports me and enjoys being with me. It's... It's really nice. You are my most precious sunflower. And I hope you know I would do this for you, too. Because you... You are... Wonderful. And being with you makes me very, very happy. Hmm. I could get mushier if you want. Something about the seeds of love blossoming. Something, something cute, lovey-dovey. You know, those things that I'm so good at <laughs> expressing. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, good evening, love. You couldn't sleep either? Hmm. Sorry for not coming to bed. I was organizing all of my tea. Then I was double-checking the order list, because I was certain that I forgot to jot down a note about this bouquet earlier today. Then I couldn't even find the order, and after thirty minutes of scrambling through my document, I realized I'd somehow ended up on last year, and if I had paid any attention to the other orders, I would have realized that none of it made any sense. And to make matters worse, when I came out to breathe in the night air and clear my head, I could have swore I saw a rabbit getting into the garden. At least, I saw ears. They certainly seem like rabbit ears. It's a little tall, but I mean, it's a big, big rabbit, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I'm okay, I promise. I just feel... I feel this strain in my heart, and it's got me all out of sorts. Oh, please, please do hug me. Wrap me up in that blanket of yours while you're at it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Describe the feeling? Well, gosh, it's kind of hard to explain. Perhaps I've just been working too hard for too long. Days blurring together, little things slipping through the cracks. But there's always you. Thankfully, there is always you. Oh, I know. It can't always be bright and sunny days, or moonlit nights in this case, I suppose. But when you wrap your arms around me like this, I don't know if the weather matters quite as much. Oh, thank you. Really. Oh. Hmm. What can you do to help me? I... Well, I, I'm not quite sure. Your love is already working wonders on my mood, though. I just wish you didn't have to come all the way out here in the middle of the night. I should have taken myself to bed, but... I was worried my restlessness might rub off on you. I don't want all of my tossing and turning to be a bother. There's nothing worse than feeling like my own struggle might burden others. 
Certainly. You. I, I would hate that. So it just seemed best that I preoccupy myself elsewhere. Well, if you're still concerned, trust me when I say that you holding me like this, it absolutely makes me feel better. Mm, when you squeeze me so tight. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> well, it does get my mind off of all of my worries. Mm. You get so greedy with me. The way your hands grip me and pull me close. <laughs> that is definitely nice. Very nice. Mm. Oh, my shoulders feel tense. I don't doubt it. I tend to carry a lot of my stress in my back and shoulders. Hmm. Why? What are you suggesting? Oh, a massage. <laughs> well, that would definitely help, I think, but you don't have to do all of... Oh, oh, uh, oh. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll just lean over the table like this and mm, arch my back a bit. <sighs> oh, oh, mm-hmm, oh, that's, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, that just, it, it hurts, but in the, in the good way, yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I I am I am absolutely okay. But I am always amazed at just what you can manage to do with your hands. <laughs> you know, I do love it when you spoil me. Oh, spoil me more. Well, I'm not sure what you have in mind, but I'm sure I'd love it. <laughs> not in the greenhouse? Hmm. Now, isn't that suspicious? But you've never steered me wrong before. Hmm, I wonder, what exactly is it you want to do that you don't want to do in front of the plants? <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm sure there's a very good reason you want to drag me to the bedroom. Isn't that right, love? <laughs> yes, I suppose I will just have to find out. Did bending me over a table spark some sort of inspiration? <laughs> All right. I'll come with you and see. Lead the way. <sighs> um... <sighs> No, no, the cuffs aren't too tight. <clears throat> and the chair is comfortable. Uh, did you make sure to flip the open sign to closed and uh, lock the door? <sighs> okay, it just, it would be a bit inconvenient if someone stopped into the shop to place an order or something. Hmm. Uh, um, uh, did I, did I leave the kettle on? You should probably check that real quick. 
I'd just look over there myself, but this blindfold is indeed, um, blinding. Me? Stalling? No, 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 never. I mean, you were a bit vague about what you wanted to do to me, but when you get into a mood, I... I mean, you can be very, um, very convincing. Oh, no, 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 no. Trust me, if I wasn't interested, I would have said something. I, um... I enjoy these times when you bring a few treats along with you in that handy bag of yours. <laughs> I've not forgotten the trip to the pumpkin patch and how you... Um, you took such good care of my needs. <laughs> if there's any doubt, my consent is more than enthusiastic. <sighs> or... Maybe it's you having second thoughts. Now that you've got me here, do you not want me? It's all right. We can... Oh, oh. <laughs> um, apologies. Um, I will never, ever doubt that I am yours. I am... Most certainly yours, but I do enjoy the reminders. <laughs> and, uh, and the way you play with my hair. Oh, oh, your, your knee. Careful where you put that. <laughs> no, I can't see you, but... I can certainly feel you towering over me. I'm leaning closer. Ooh, ooh. Uh, mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm all right. But um, when you when you trace your fingers down my neck like that, it um. Mm. I'm just sensitive, you see. Uh, again? Uh, I mean, well, it does feel nice, so, um, of course, you can do it again. <laughs> Tickle a little, but it's fine. I, uh, I'm okay. <sighs> uh, uh, mm. Oh, my, my collarbones, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm. uh, oh, is that what this is all about? You just wanted to torture me? What is this? Uh, well, I am having fun, yes. Oh. Yes, I. I have been stressed lately. There's, there's been a lot on my plate. You could tell. Hmm. So, this is your way of getting my mind off of things? Oh. Thank you. You're so good to me. Hmm. Always so good to me. Uh, 
Wait, you, you, you want me to say what? Well, no, I, I don't want to disappoint you. Of course, all right. Um, whatever you want me to do, I'll, I'll do it. Um, right, okay. Uh, I'm a good boy. I deserve to feel good. And, and I am loved and desired and wanted. Did I, did I get that right? Uh, 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 um, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, I got that right. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, this is just a lot. Huh? You can tell. Oh, uh, oh, y yeah, sorry. Sorry, I, I can't help it. This is just really, really nice. Oh, mm. Right. No apologizing. Understood. Uh, <laughs> you are... You're good at this, you know. I'm grateful. And if there's anything I can... <laughs> uh, mm. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean, <clears throat> that was just a little more ticklish than I expected. I'm I'm not saying it was a bad thing. You just <laughs> hey hey oh ah <clears throat> oh okay. So that's how it is, huh? You're gonna bully me. I told you I was sensitive. Oh, mm. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> of course I like it. You said you can feel me, right? <sighs> then you know. <sighs> huh? You. You're going to take care of that for me? What do you... you... um... Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I would... love that. <sighs> Welcome! I'll be there in just a... Uh, oh! Is that my favorite customer I hear? <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, sorry, I was tidying up in the back and I didn't notice you'd been texting me. Is there... Is there some sort of special occasion today? Oh, oh dear. I, ha I haven't forgotten something important, have I? Is it your birthday? Oh, God, it's your birthday, isn't it? No? No? Okay, well, that's a relief. <laughs> it, it's not, um, it's not some other thing I've forgotten, is it? Uh, well, I'm, <laughs> I was asking because you were dressed so nice and you look very, very, um, you look great is what I mean. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if you had a thing or... Something going on, or... <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not being very professional, am I? How, how may I help you? Here to see your favorite flower. Favorite? Um... Well, as I recall, you have quite a few that you like. Have you... Told me you have an absolute number one best of all time favorite? 
because uh if you did i might not actually recall tallish shines like the sun are you describing a sunflower no okay um hmm blonde so the petals are yellow Freckles? That's, um... You're being very obtuse, I think, is... is... is how I feel. P me Dense? I, I don't... Oh, oh, hi. That's my hand you've got there. Oh, all right, lead the way then. Let's see it. Hmm. In the back... There are a few new plants here, but I... What are you giggling about? You... You're a menace today, you know that? <laughs> Alright, well... Um... There's no flowers here. Uh, this is a mirror, though. Did you hide something around... Here, um, in the mirror. What? That's me. What do you mean? Oh, I'm your. Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, oh, my goodness. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not blushing. When did you... When did you get so cheesy? Super cheesy. Uh, f f flirting. That's what this is? Oh, no, 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 I'm not complaining. I... Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I... I quite like it when you're sweet to me. I just wasn't mentally prepared for all of that. No, it's not a problem. Trust me, I... <clears throat> I... You are welcome to catch me off guard anytime. I just don't know what I did to deserve all this affection. Um... <clears throat> whoa, whoa, hold on, wait. That's it? You just show up looking so good and flirt with me, and then you're leaving? That's a bit cruel, don't you think? Hmm. You're not bugging me, and business is slow today. I'm a florist. We don't exactly have a lunch rush. Unless people wanted to munch on some homegrown tomatoes, but I don't have a whole lot to share. Nor do I want to. I like tomatoes. <laughs> oh, I am keenly aware how much you like to tease me. You're a bully. <laughs> oh, hold on now, I never said I disliked it. <laughs> Quite the contrary, I enjoy your shenanigans. Keeps me on my toes. On edge, if you will. Hmm? Is that a reference? A, a reference to what? Mm, I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. On that note, I actually have something to ask you about. I know, I'm, I'm very good at segues. I've been meaning to ask you... <clears throat> oh, okay, I just... Well, I thought I was very good at segues. Uh... I've been meaning to ask if maybe, um, I mean, we, we spend a lot of time together and do things and it's lovely, but I, um, uh, well, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go on a, like, explicitly a date. Uh, well... I didn't think that far ahead. We could go 
We could, uh, we could do all sorts of things. There's live music downtown. We could check out all the shops and stop for dinner and stuff. Or, or, or uh, we could do something a bit more low key. Um, I could cook us a meal, and we could watch a movie and get cozy in the hammock while the sun sets. <clears throat> yeah, those, those are two radically different ideas. I didn't really think I was going to ask you out today, but how could I not? You look divine, and it's a reminder that I should probably not bite my tongue so much, because I'd hate to twiddle my thumbs, and then yeah, I guess I'm worried that Maybe someone else might tickle your fancy and you find something better to do with your time. Which would be okay, by the way. You're always free to do whatever you want to do, but... I felt like it would be poignant for me to let you know that I am very, very much interested in spending more time with you. In a romantic sense. Oh, t tonight? You want to come tonight? Um, wait, what? What did I say? Oh! <clears throat> oh, goodness. Come over. You can come over tonight. I'm nervous, sorry. See? Look how sweaty my palms are. Cute. <laughs> are you sure? Me? <sighs> okay. I'm relaxing. Sure, okay. I can totally get things ready for you to come over tonight. It'll be fun. Mm-hmm. It, yep, yeah, no, it's fine. Short notice is okay with me. I'm eager to see you. Well, I mean, I see you right now, obviously, but outside of work would be very nice. Really, really nice, actually. <clears throat> okay, um, I better get things figured out here at the shop, and maybe I'll close up early so I can get whatever I need from the store, and, um, <laughs> all of that. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you around seven. Okay, sounds great. Oh, oh, <laughs> big hug. Mm. Thank you. See you soon, dear. And so I told him, as politely as I could, of course, that no amount of roses were going to be enough of an apology gift to make up for firing someone before the holidays. That, and it is a bit of a mixed message, sending red roses to the family of the fellow that you just gave the boot to. <laughs> well, he gave me this dead-eyed stare and said, The severance package is the real gift, and went ahead and placed the order for the roses anyway. Well, I mean, he's a pretty consistent client, and he pays very, very well. I offer advice where I can, but, you know... The customer is always right, apparently. Oh. <laughs> well, of course you're still my favorite customer. Though you're certainly not just a customer, right? <laughs> no, I don't often invite customers over for a fall evening of... Baked goods, delicious drinks, and cuddling together under the stars. Should I put that on the menu, or am I all yours? Hmm. Well, you do keep me preoccupied. Not sure I can take bookings like I'm working at a host club. And I don't know if I'd really get that many patrons, so... I'll just stick to flowers, I think. 
Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not trying to put myself down or anything. Really. I mean, for obvious reasons. I think of sunflowers when I look at myself, but also, I'm... I'm a bit like a bluebell. Being humble is something that I've always strived for. It, for as long as I can remember. They symbolize a few things. The English bluebell in particular, because the bulbs sort of appear to be hanging their head. Like they're bowing or even praying. But they are beautiful. And there's no shortage of meaning and myth to their existence. Oh, goodness. Well, some believe they were tied to the Fae. In particular, those who are... Mm, more than just a little mischievous. There are several tales, but one that I think in particular is interesting was the idea that if you were looking at a bluebell and heard a bell ring, death would be coming for you shortly after. Spooky, right? In terms of the language of flowers, the aforementioned humility is a big one, but it's also associated with gratitude and everlasting love. <laughs> Yes, I suppose everlasting is a long time. There's something to be said for dedication, being thankful, and love that runs so deep that it is inescapable. But it's not much of a fall flower. Seasons change, and even flowers aren't beholden to the meaning we fools attribute to them. Hmm. Not to throw around too many analogies and symbols and philosophies, but essentially, I want to believe that a tiger can change its stripes. The truth is, why should a flower be what we think it is? Why should anyone be who we tell them to be? Even if it is their nature... Even if your eyes tell you one thing, ultimately, it's up to the flower to decide. At least, that's what I hope. Oh, you want an example? Hmm. I think I could come up with one. A fairly topical one at that. You thought I was just a nervous, anxious, shy little florist. And perhaps I was, and still am, but on nights like tonight, I find it, hmm, I find it a bit difficult to not drop the pleasantries and tell you to set that pumpkin bread down and Come sit yourself on my lap. <laughs> oh, love. I didn't stutter. You're always so sure of yourself when it comes to me. Bold. You do know that I am capable of returning that favor for you. Don't you? I'm not so one-dimensional that I couldn't find ways to treat you to the same thrill that you've shared with me. You know, every time the leaves start to turn, I recall our times together. Passing the pumpkin patch always puts a devious grin on my face. I remember the thrill, the surprise, the way you filled me with 
Such bliss. Do you not deserve the same? Come. Climb up into my lap. There you go. Rest against me, darling. Oh. <laughs> oh my. What is that noise you made? Is that... a happy noise? You could say that, hmm? Okay. <laughs> Good. Could you, um, could you tilt your head for me just a little? I just wanted to make sure that you hear me loud and clear. <sighs> Why don't we celebrate the change of seasons in our own way here? Under the stars and moonlight. It's a little chilly, but trust me. I can warm you. As a matter of fact, it feels as though... <sighs> you're already burning up. Mm. There is. Something I find especially thrilling about this concept of ritualistic intimacy. Finding a deeper meaning in the mundane. Much like the language of flowers. Or myth. Or... Hmm. Two lovers embracing each other in celebration of their love, lust, and change. In submitting to you, I've learned how to care for your needs in ways that you may never have expected. That is, if you'll let me, may I proceed? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, only if I kiss you first. My dear, how could I resist? <laughs> Thank you, my dearest, my beloved. take care of you. <laughs> oh. What do you mean you've got something for me? A surprise out back? I, I mean... Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I'm excited and thankful and everything. I... Genuinely, any gift from you is wonderful. It's just, this is such a busy time of year at the shop, and uh, any time away from all the flowers and stuff makes me anxious. I know, I, 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 did, I just don't want you to misunderstand. I'm happy. I've just got a lot on my plate. 
Yeah, I, I know. I just don't want you to think I'm taking you for granted or anything. You always take such good care of me. It's just hard to express it sometimes when I feel worlds away. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll stop over-explaining myself. <sighs> so, you've got some sort of surprise in the garden for me. Okay, I'll... I'll close my eyes. Just, um, don't let me walk into anything. I'm clumsy enough with my eyes open. <sighs> what are you giggling about? Hmm. <laughs> I can tell you're excited. You're squeezing the heck out of my hands. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold me tight. I like it. Just saying. Oh, it's nice out tonight, huh? With my eyes closed, I can smell all the flowers. Hold on. Food smells. Love, is this why you told me to take my work overtime today? <laughs> so you could put my kitchen to good use? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I certainly haven't been cooking much lately. Crockpot meals are about the extent of my culinary adventures. But this... Hmm, did you make some sort of pasta? Ooh, can I open my eyes now? Please. <laughs> oh, there's more than just dinner out here. Okay, I'll brace myself. Oh my, the whole garden is lit up and, ah, uh, the, the new babies are planted and the mess is cleaned up. I, uh, darling, I don't, uh, I don't even know what to say. Uh, come here, you. Hmm. Thank you, my valentine. I don't deserve all of this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, I don't... I don't mean to get overwhelmed. I'm... I just... Oh. You, you don't have to just kiss my cheek. Mm hmm I would like it if you kissed my lips. <sighs> the garden is nearly as beautiful as you. And that's saying something, because I let it fall into a state of disarray for a while there. This is, this is a lovely gift, and dinner looks fantastic. Wait, is this, uh, this is the garden set, the, the table and chairs from the, from the antique shop. You, oh my goodness, you shouldn't have, that was expensive. Oh. I... Well, it looks even better than I thought it would out here. Oh, I remember all right. I was blathering on about how cute it would be. 
having little garden dates and you were smiling and nodding. But I thought you were just humoring my imagination, not plotting my demise. Uh, the breadsticks look really good, too. Yeah, I'm... I'm hungry. I might have, um... I might have skipped lunch. I know, I know, I... <sighs> Here, I, I'm gonna sit, okay? Um... I thought you might have gone out of your way to do something nice for me, but this is... This is so much. I'm... I'm a bit overstimulated. <laughs> um... What's that terrifying grin on your face about? We're just getting started, huh? Does that mean there's... Dessert? Hmm. It depends. It depends on my appetite. Ah! Ah, ah, ha, Hmm. I see. Well, um, <laughs> I will make sure not to eat too much. I think I've got a bit of a sweet tooth tonight, so... I'll leave room for whatever you're going to serve me. Or, I mean, we could save the food for later. <laughs> Ugh, you're going to make me take care of myself. <laughs> mm, you're a tease, aren't you? Oh. Oh. I'm going to need my energy, am I? <laughs> you sound like you've really got plans for me. <laughs> like I said, you do always take good care of me. <clears throat> I'll be a good boy and enjoy my meal. Uh, uh, um, is that you? Under the table? Oh, the breeze against my <clears throat> leg. Right. Silly me. Uh, pardon? My thoughts on rope. That is vague and ominous. Um... Well, if you're the one who would be tying me up and using me as you see fit, I have several thoughts about rope, all of them fairly positive. <laughs> oh, you really want to help me get the stress out of my system, huh? Relieve me of the burden of moving, thinking, speaking. Leave me with nothing left but your touch. Ah, oh, what a gift that would be. Oh, I would very much enjoy that, love. After dinner... I'm all yours.